This video comprises of three different parts. In the first part, we learn how to create quantity takeoff for slab. And then we'll prepare bar bending schedule. And finally, in our last part, we learn how to place views in our sheet for proper documentation. Welcome to Civil Builders. I am Engineer Arsalan. Before continues my today's video, I recommend you to watch my previous video where I create slab assigned reinforcement and do the detailing works. You can find the link at the top right corner. Now let's start today's video with the volume calculation. So let's dive in. Well, to calculate the volume of slab, we have to prepare schedules. So navigate to the view tab and select schedules and quantities from this drop down. And from this dialog box, choose floors and press OK. Then from this window, choose the parameters that you want to be in your table. And use this arrow for shifting the parameters from left to right. After selecting the required parameters, we can use this arrow to move our parameters up and down and press OK. Our schedule is now created. We can check its volume from here. And we use this properties panel for doing the modification in our schedule. We can rename this table by simply typing. We can use this toolbar for formatting purpose. We can change its font. And we can do its shading from here. Let's move towards the calculation of materials. So to calculate the quantity, I use this formula. Now let's jump right into the rabbit screen and start performing the calculations. First I generate a duplicate copy of this schedule by right click and choose this duplicate option. And then I rename it by simply typing. Now to perform the calculations I have to add more fields to this table. So I choose this field option from the properties panel. And from this dialog box, I have to add some more parameters. For material calculation based on mix design, I have to add ratios of cement, sand, and coarse aggregate, as these ratios are not available in this table. So I have to add them by using this add new parameter option. And then I defined its name. From the data type, I use the integer option and press OK. I repeat the same steps for coarse aggregate and sand. To sum up the total ratio, I have to add this calculated parameter option. And from here I have to add fields and press OK to execute this calculated formula. For cement back calculation we have to add another parameters. And use a formula. And press OK. Similarly, we add two new calculated parameters for calculating the volume of sand and aggregate. And press OK. Same goes for aggregate.
and press OK to find the value. In this cell, we have to input the values of cement sand and aggregate ratio based on our mixed design. Then David will automatically calculate its total ratio, its number of bags, sand and aggregate volume. We can uh, we can formatting from these. Let's start calculating rebar quantity. We use this formula to calculate the weight of rebar. The unit weight of rebar is 490 pound per cubic feet. First, we need to create schedule. Go to the view tab, and from this drop down, choose this schedule and quantities. And from this dialog box, choose structural rebar and press OK. From this window, filter out the required parameters and use this arrow to move your parameter from left to right. After adding all the required parameters, use this function button for a new calculated parameter and rename it as rebar weight. In the discipline, choose structural and in type select mass. and use this formula for the calculation and press OK. Now we'll do some formatting from these toolbars. To indicate the sum of total bar length, reinforcement volume, and rebar weight, go to the formatting tab and choose this last two option. And from here, choose calculate totals. And again, go to the sorting and formatting and check this grand total option and choose counts and totals and press OK. Now we'll see that we get a uh, total volume and total rebar weight. To separate the bars, go to the sorting and growth pin and sort by type and check this header option and press OK. Now to indicate the volumes and weight of each individual items, again go to the sorting and grouping and check this footer option and press OK. We can do more formatting from the appearance tab. We can add colors to our rows and similarly select all of our bars and align them to horizontal center. We can also change our units. Here our weight is calculated in pounds. So to change it into kg, go to the formatting tab and select your rebar weight and from the field format, uncheck this option and select your unit and press OK. Now your weight is in kg. Till now we have performed material calculation and uh, also calculated the volume of slab. Now let's head on to the next section where we draw the bar bending schedule of slab. First I generate a duplicate of this schedule and rename it by simply typing to add more parameters simply go to the field option and from this window select the parameter that you required. This time I need bending detail, so I use this arrowhead to move this bending detail from left to right and press OK. Rabbit will automatically create bar bending schedule by using this parameter bending detail. We just need to place this schedule inside our sheet. So to create sheet, go to the view tab and select this sheet option from the toolbar and press OK. To place schedule inside the sheet, simply drag your schedule and click inside the sheet. We can also customize this schedule. We can change the row height from the properties panel by simply typing the row height or 
where we can use these handles to increase column width for more customization made changes on the imported schedule all the changes that you made in the schedule is automatically reflected in our sheet for instance I want to hide some field then I go to the formatting tab and from this window I select the field that I want to hide and check this hidden field option and press ok now in our sheet view only two parameters are visible because we have made all other parameters hidden in schedule now let's head on to our final section where we learn how to create sheets and place views in our sheet in a more professional way so to create sheet navigate to the view tab and select the sheet from the toolbar from this dialog box select the family template and press ok we can modify the parameters of our sheet from the properties panel select your sheet and rename our sheet by simply typing we can also change its number and then drag your views from the project browser and click inside the sheet use arrowhead to adjust its position after setting the position draw the selection and pin all your elements by typing pn now we have fixed its position and we use guide grids to maintain the symmetry between the sheet views so navigate to the view tab and select this guide grid tool and rename it as floor plan and press ok click on these grid lines and reduce its size by using these handles and move these grid lines by using command MV select on center and uncheck this option select these grid lines and lock its position by using the command pn this guide grid is a reference for me when I'm creating new sheets so let's start creating new sheet and show you its application navigate to the view tab and select this sheet option and press ok and here select the guide grid option and press ok now place your top bars layout plan inside your sheet by dragging I want to align the edge of this slab with this guide grid, so I use arrowheads. By using the guide grids, we have placed two different views on an identical position. In the next series, we are going to complete this project from the very scratch. See you in the next series. I hope you enjoyed this series. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching Civil Builders.